Four votes at an Erie County Council Finance Committee meeting could eventually lead to millions of federal dollars being allocated to a local university project. It's an initiative to bring more jobs to Erie County, but not all council members are on board. It's new at 10 o'clock. Chelsea Swift has our story. After Erie County Executive Brenton Davis pledges American Rescue Plan dollars to a Penn State Barron project, there was some back and forth at an Erie County Finance Committee meeting Thursday evening. Four county council members voting to push the resolution forward to Tuesday night's meeting. Penn State Barron brings millions into our town, it brings millions into Erie, it brings millions into Erie County. So many students live there and the money that they invest, and this is a good project. Chairwoman Ellen Chowerman, Vice Chairman Jim Winarski, and Councilman Charlie Bale also supporting the resolution. Five million American Rescue Plan dollars would go towards Penn State Barron's Resolve Project, which includes creating a center with a plastics laboratory and battery testing facility. We're being proactive, being progressive. We're thinking just a little bit ahead of ourselves because how do you fix the poverty level, you bring in good paying jobs. One county councilwoman supports education in the region. However, she does not support the ordinance. She says we'll have to see how the vote breaks down next week. If it benefits um, an institution and a business that is going to make commercial profit from it, that's a serious consideration. What is the county going to get? What are county taxpayers going to get more importantly as their return on investment? Councilwoman Rennie says she believes the county executive didn't have the right to pledge the ARP funding. She's concerned about the future of the project. There's also no bumper guards on it, so the county could stand to be the prime investor in this project at $5 million. We don't have the power to take that money back. Chelsea Swift, Fox 66 News.